Donna Bibbo, manager of Fleet and Travel for Novo Nordisk Inc., talks about how she handles driver safety when managing a typically young population of pharmaceutical drivers. Well, pharma drivers tend to be very young. We don't hire them necessarily right out of college, but they're usually in their mid-20s. Um, and they seem to have a lot of accidents. And it's just not our company because we benchmark with the other pharmas. And the typical accident rate is about 35%, which is huge. Uh, I, they're just having accidents left and right. So we've been quantifying it. We've been breaking it down. We did not have a risk manager until this year. We were responsible for that too. Uh, but we've just finally hired a risk manager, so I've sat down with him and we've talked about what we might do. And 2010 is going to be a year that we focus on fleet safety. Uh, in particular, we have distracted driving problems. Um, I'm seeing a lot of running into garages, hitting cars that are in their driveways, um, hitting cars that are parked across the street, feet slipping off brakes at red lights and hitting the car in front of them, you can almost look at them and say, okay, they were, t they were looking at their computer, they were looking at their, message, their email messages on their BlackBerry, and we have to find a way to combat that and make them aware that that's not going to be acceptable. The hard part about that is if you put some kind of punishment in place, say we charge them, for at fault accidents that we deem stupid, uh, then they'll start, stop reporting them. Because they're not huge, they don't require that you fix the car. So a lot of times it's just cosmetic, so they won't report it. And the problem is then when they turn in the car, I have a car that has all kinds of damage that nobody reported. So we really have to put a comprehensive program in place where we hold their managers responsible for the conditions of their cars too, and we get their managers to do walk-arounds and condition reports so that we know if there's any unreported damage and we can get it. We're also going to put in place training. Uh, for example, I just sent out a training module to all of them on parking lot safety and parking lot issues. So hopefully, it's not anything they don't know. It'll just remind them that they need to be a little more careful. And I'm looking at doing some kind of incentive program so that we can reward the good drivers.